damage because this composition has a lot of burst damage and a lot of stops on the side of the boys. So the boys really throwing a curveball here, then Super Frog's kind of just taking the bait. I really wonder if uh, the boys should be implementing the Elemental Shaman Destruction Warlock composition. Spexen has been playing Elemental Shaman a lot. I think that would be a respectable answer for the Frost Mage Destruction Warlock. Cubsy's having a field day, re-stealthing constantly and stunning effectively the entire team of the boys with that. Grecky moves in, secures crowd control. It was a preemptive Iron Bark that should deny the Ice Block. Lots of damage. Welty Man gets Ring of Peace back into the fight in line of sight of Thugonomics. And I do like that synergy, the Ring of Peace from the Monk, allowing the knockback effect so that if someone tries to escape out of line of sight, they simply can't. And the Thugonomics can rain down terror with Chaos Bolts. And this maneuver could be what allows the boys to find victory in game number one. And winning the blind is very important when these teams are so diverse in their compositions. I'm actually kind of surprised Gorecki decided to lock in the Mystery Weaver Monk instead of the Restoration Druid. I feel like with the Feral Affinity, it could have been a decent answer to help assist his team with additional stuns and more damage, but opting not to do so, going with the Way of the Crane, Mystery Weaver Monk instead, pushing forward. Chun-Li taking a whole bunch of damage there by Chanimal, but Diffuse Magic saves the day, but Chun-Li only has one more defensive cooldown left. That Touch of Karma, it actually gets traded out. And there's still Dark Soul for Channel. There's still Icy Veins for Wealthy Man. Things are looking good for the Super Frogs. Chun-Li a very vulnerable target right now. Thugonomics in a good position to just smoke Channel. A lot of damage going to be used. Unending Resolve forced to be traded out. It's a really long cooldown Channel just used in order to survive that last attack. Very interested to see if they can manage to pull off a kill on Chun-Li moving forward now with Icy Veins and Dark Soul. Huge damage already. Chun-Li retreats back to the pillar with Gorecki, looking to reconvene. Another disadvantage of bringing in the Mistweaver Monk is you are susceptible to interrupts, of which there are two on the team of Super Frogs, the Spell Lock of Chanimal and the Counter Spell of Wealthy Man, although these interrupts will likely have to be used on Thugonomics as he is such a threat with Fear and Chaos Bolt. So I'm curious to see where they decide to place their interrupts, currently both on cooldown. So Chun-Li should be able to recover, even though he dips very low on health in this position. Perhaps Super Frogs should be rotating those interrupts a bit differently, trying to save one, potentially to net a kill by being able to interrupt Gorecki. That could have been a moment of opportunity to kill Chun-Li, but they don't find it. Cycloning him up instead. Gorecki looked like he wanted to cross midfield, but then immediately pulled back as Chun-Li got cycloned. Chanimal gets denied. Welty Man double blinks in, secures the polymer for the team. Good crowd control. He's full on icicles, dropping all five now on Chun Li, but not scratching his health. Denied on the follow up with that leg sweep. Thugonomics interrupting Chanimal, but Gorecki was not able to make it back to the pillar in time. That now means that Thugonomics can rain down. That Glyre's Maledict and Chaos Bolts. Cubsy denies the kill with Iron Bark. The boys then switch targets to Chanimal, trying to create pressure in multiple places. Good tactic to burn Restoration Druid's mana as Life Bloom is expensive, and to switch it onto multiple targets is going to be an inefficient way to heal. So the boys could find victory through mana by switching targets if they continue to do this. Yep, definitely. Have to see how mana plays out for both of these teams. Cubsy has been known to sneak away and get drinks in the past, able to recover his mana quite heavily. Thugonomics in midfield right now, looking for some damage. Gets bashed up by Cubsy. That's denied. Wealthy Man now looking to get aggressive on the Thugonomic. And I think Chanimal and Wealthy Man, they might at some point be able to just crowd control up Chun-Li. And if Thugonomics is in midfield, that's a great target for them to just throw their spells at. Really tax Gorecki's mana quite a bit. Cubsy in the meantime, I think he's in the backfield looking to potentially get out of combat, sneak away for a drink and recover his mana. But no, Chun-Li shuts that down for paralysis. He looks to get some damage rolling, but so far, Chun Li really hasn't been able to get too much done. No touch of death available for another minute and 10 seconds. And until dampening, I don't feel like Chanimal is really that great of a target for them. Might have to start turning their attention onto Wealthy Man, but the problem with that is once you leave Wealthy Man, or once you tunnel down Wealthy Man, you leave Chanimal alone. That's going to be really difficult to deal with. Chanimal is going to have a spamble of fear, a lot of damage, Shadow Fury that the boys will have to deal with, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Really, the boys have to pick their poison. Do they go after the mage or do they go after the warlock? Which one is gonna be limited in damage? Which one is gonna get shut down on their crowd control? Those are the things you have to consider as the boys moving forward.
moving into the spring finals, I think it's important to take into consideration the Super Frogs are pretty much the only roster to run this Frost Mage Destruction Warlock Restoration Druid, or at least to the same level that they are running it. And perhaps it could be the X factor for their team to find victory and qualify to the World Finals. The boys need to try and craft an answer. They're going to lead in the blind pick with Windwalker Destruction Warlock, a fairly well-balanced composition, both bringing in ranged and physical damage to the fray. Good support with Ring of Peace as well, but it may not even be enough to overcome the overwhelming pressure that the Super Frogs can build later into dampening. And then where do you go if you're the boys? Do you continue trying this Windwalker Warlock, or do you tag in Spexin on the Elemental Shaman, try and bring in a wizard to battle the wizards? Infernals have landed for Chanimal. He's going to be ramping up for huge damage. Very important as a Destruction Warlock after Infernals that you use Reign of Fire. This is an instant cast way to spend your soul shards. And during your Infernals with the Grimmar Supremacy Talented, it increases the damage of your next Chaos Bolt. Then after you've ramped up your Chaos Bolt damage, you pop your Dark Soul. So Chanimal has Dark Soul currently active, and his next Chaos Bolt will be as big as it pretty much can get. And it looks like they're trying to stall it out, and they've managed to stall it out until Dark Soul has faded. So Chanimal's ramp was completely destroyed here by the boys. They've definitely done their homework, and they've shut him down on this push. Yep, Thugonomics still in a decent position here at the pillar, trying to avoid as much damage as possible, while also being a turret for his team. Finds one big chaos, but it gets reflected. Nicely done by Chanimal. That nether ward was beautiful. Gorecki has a response, has to trade out the life cocoon. Looking at mana once again, you can see Gorecki on the Mistweaver Monkey actually has a big lead here. 8% dampening. What is Chun Li going to be able to get done? He's just getting controlled so much in midfield. He's not feared. He's polymorphed. He's caught into roots. And Thugonomics and Gorecki, they haven't been able to back him up too much. I think Thugonomics is actually going after the pet right now of Chanimal. If he can shut that down, potentially free up Gorecki to get out of combat and look for some drinks to reset his mana. And oh no, this is bad. Very bad for the Super Frogs right now. Very bad for the boys. Cubsy actually sat down, completely recovered all of his mana. This is a little bit disastrous for the boys. That was one of their main win conditions. But a big offensive push here on the channel. They might be able to take him down. He catches a huge heal by Cubsy using that innervate to make all his heal spells free of cost. He can use very expensive healing to quickly catch up Channel and Wealthy Man's HP. Uncorrect, he still has Way of the Crane. Maybe they're looking for an all-in crane attack to try and take out super frogs in game number one Grecky's held on to it for some time the difficulty of that is that when you move in with way of the crane you're susceptible to crowd control of which the super frogs have a plethora of so Grecky will have to navigate through with his teammates interrupting these crowd control abilities so that he can connect with way of the crane but then if they focus all their interrupts on crowd control then there's big damage abilities such as chaos bolt and evan bolt and ray of frost that they will not have interrupts for although way of the crane should be enough to heal through that so i want to see the boys coordinate together, protect Gorecki during Wave of the Crane, make a big push, try to get an ice block, maybe some more Gladiators, Maledicts combos as well. This is a good way to overwhelm a Restoration Druid's heal over time effects. So far we have not seen any big pushes from the boys and they continue to fall behind. Yep, definitely this is not looking that great for the boys. They lack control in this matchup. That's one of the benefits that Super Frogs has. With this Mage and this Lock, they have spammable crowd control. They can just control up chun -Li, deny a lot of the healing and damage that he has available. chun -Li now getting bashed. Uh, Life Cocoon trades out from Gorecki. That was really nice control from Cubsy. chun -Li traded out the Touch of Karma, and then before he could get topped off by Gorecki, Cubsy cycloned him, waiting out the duration of the Touch of Karma. Then a lot of burst damage came in, and because of that, Gorecki had to respond with the Life Cocoon. Now chun Li's a vulnerable target. No touch of karma, no fortifying brew once it fades. And then Channel and Wealthy Maker start really ripping in. We're at 22% dampening at this point in the game. It's gonna be difficult for Gorecki to really heal through the damage that Wealthy Man and Channel have available. Whereas for Super Frogs, they still have so much control in their favor, they can really limit the damage output the boys have available. All right, let's see what they can get done. Man is basically even at this point with dampening ramping up to critical mass. Infernals have ran for Chanimal. He's ready to go. He's got Dark Soul and Icy Veins comboed together. Big Chaos Bolt straight to Chun-Li. Fuse Magic denies the follow-up damage for now. Way of the Crane, this is the push. This is what Gorecki has been waiting for. Can they disrupt the crowd control onto his Way of the Crane? No, Polymorph lands. Way of the Crane gets shut down. Thugonomics, though, looks to ramp up. He gets Nether Warded by Chanimal on that Chaos Bolt. Good reaction. Thugonomics is still continuing to ramp, though. Now popping the Dark Soul. These Chaos Bolts are huge. He's got Nether Ward up. They cannot be stopped. One Chaos Bolt connects. 
Not able to find the second, but they do manage to pull an ending resolve from Chanimal, and he continues to fall behind. Perhaps the boys have opportunity here to kill Chanimal. Yeah, definitely Chanimal. Vulnerable target right now in midfield. Can't really get away. Force Destruction Warlock's armor was a little bit nerfed from that demon skin change in the last patch, so Chanimal definitely going to be a little bit more vulnerable to Chun-Li, but it still just doesn't seem like Chun-Li has the damage right now to get much done against Chanimal. Wealthy Man just spamming out Frostbolt to looking to reload that Frost Mage damage. Brecky moves in, lands full leg sweep. What is Chun-Li going to do? He gets ba bashed into a pounce, has to shrink it out. No touch of Karma. Chun-Li so vulnerable, gets Vortex back, flailing to survive in midfield. Gorecki luckily has the Life Cocoon as a safety net to keep him alive, but Chun-Li, that was way too aggressive. Has to trade out his entire defensive arsenal. Cubsy really punishing him. You can't blame him. He's trying to shut down the drink, but Cubsy easily punishes him with a double stun combo. Now Chun-Li still, he's got to be a little bit scared in this situation. Yeah, how is he going to get out of it? Gorecki's only got enough mana for a couple more waves of the crane, and They've got a, maybe a little bit of a window of time to get a kill onto Chanimal, but they have to do it four times. Likely to be this composition for the rest of the series from the Super Frogs until the boys have a definitive answer. So, moving forward against all odds here, and so difficult even in game number one, to do it four times is basically a feat of strength in this game at the moment. Stampening now at 36%. Grecky's almost tapped. He's not got many more opportunities left. There's still a minute 25 to let Unending Resolve to kill Chanimal. Chunli gets Mortal Coiled on the Fist of Fury. Chanimal with total shutdown. Goes for a Shadow Fury, gets Spell Locked, then goes for a Chaos Bolt, gets denied. Now Chaos Bolt's flying in from Thugonomics 2, tagging in with that Gladiator's Maledict. A big push for the boys here, but Iron Bark of Cubsy appears to be more than enough to deflect. That paralysis onto Cubsy. Chanimal taking some damage as you saw Gorecki use the last little bit of his mana for away the crane push but didn't get anything done and once again Super Frogs they have the boys completely pinned up against the pillar they're out of line of sight they're trying to avoid damage but this is not a situation you want to be in as the boys the Super Frogs all their cooldowns are resetting look at Chanimal only 40 seconds left on that unending resolve and once that rotates back up off cooldown it's going to be really difficult for them to push through that in the meantime Chun Li just getting smoked. Diffuse magic looking to be enough to run away. Does manage to get behind the pillar, but Ray of Frost still channeling. Chun Li has to be a little bit careful, but you can't blame him. He's trying to start building some pressure for his team. It's just really difficult. Yeah, that window of opportunity is going to be lost in 17 seconds from now when Unending Resolve becomes available. Thugonomics in trouble. Cubsy moves in, adding in that Feral Affinity Spice. It is not so nice for Thugonomics. He ducks for cover. The entire team pillaring for their lives. Chun-Li as well now caught in center field. Chaos Bolt hits him. Stun connects. He pre-fortified Elixir right before Cubsy opened. That was nice moves by Chun-Li. Soaks some hits and stays alive, but the whole team under fire. Huge flurry from Wealthy Man. Thugonomics takes that. 50% dampening incoming. Gorecki's completely tapped a mana. Nether Ward from Thugonomics desperately to stabilize, but unending resolve exchanged as well. Chaos Bolt trade, but Wealthy Man still got two ice blocks. There's no way you're killing him. Chun-Li in center field uses the touch of Karma right as Infernals have landed. Maybe an opportunity for Chun-Li to go all in. He says, no nope. way. Goodbye. I'm getting out of here, but now Thugonomics is left behind. Yeah, Thugonomics caught in midfield, all snared up. Just a perfect target for Wealthy Man and Chanimal to take him down. And the boys, this answer does not seem to be good enough. They just cannot generate. This one promises to be absolutely outstanding. You can't be a chicken here when you've already come this far. This is for all of the marbles. First place of an entire region for cup number six. There is no running away from this finale. The last time we will see the Sewer Frogs and the boys go head to head before the spring international finals. But after this, we do have a tiebreaker. The winner between Never Lucky and the Mew Mew Kitty Cats to qualify to that spring finals as well. So do not want to go anywhere. There is nothing but action-packed Warcraft for some time. Chanimal, low on health. Chun-Li equally so as both teams go all out initially in this game number two. And we already see an opening here for Sean Lee. He's going to go and take it. Touch of Karma activated. Touch of Death activated as well on the channel. No Iron Bark available. And that could potentially be the unending resolve. Let's see if Wealthy Man can weather the storm. Does it look like he is able to right now with that Ice Events? Channel being very greedy holding on to this cooldown for now. But it could potentially pay out that Dark Soul is active as well. So uh, Super Frogs are using a lot of their offense to kind of uh, just stabilize and save a, a lot of those defense 
defensive cooldowns that they have. Very, very nice that they managed to get away without using the unending resolve there. Yeah, nice trade there in exchange. Super Frogs, although are behind a mana and on hook point, it will be difficult to find opportunities to drink. Good crowd control initiated by Gorecki, but his team is crowd controlled as well, and they can't attack. Chun Li and Fear, Thugonomics and Polymorph. So even though Cubsy was cycloned, Chun Li and Thugonomics couldn't attack. So no damage to trade back, and that means the team will be safe. And Ooh. this is the good teamwork of the Super Frogs as they set up a kill on Chun Li. Fortified Elixir denies it. But I do really enjoy watching the crowd control coordination of Channel and Wealthy Men. Even though this composition almost looks unstoppable, we've only ever really seen them run it. So they run it definitely at the highest caliber, and I'm curious to see how it fares head-to-head -head with Europe in the Spring Finals. Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see as this is our final cup before the spring land. And both of these teams want to snag a win on that final cup, cup so they can go for that big momentum. And now we see Chun Li once again activating his touch of karma, trying to get the iron bark uh, used. Cubsy caught up in a cyclone. Chanimal deflects with a fear, gets a chaos bolt at the back of that, though. It seems to be absorbed by the touch of karma. Chanimal using his reflect as well. Not going to catch the cyclone. Cyclone Goreki manages to fake that out and then get another Cyclone here onto Channel. On that Iron Bar cooldown, Cubsy in the mana department is not looking great. And like we mentioned, Druids don't have an easy time drinking on this map. And we see Cubsy now caught up in a fear Channel in a spell lock. Tagonomics is looking for the big Chaos Bolts here. Not going to be able to find it. Nice counter spell from Wealthy Man. Cubsy actually gets hibernated, but no real damage to follow it up now stunning cubsy maybe they attack him sets him up for a fear but on diminishing return from thugonomics potentially i see cubsy as a target for the windwalker destruction warlock on hook point if they can make a swap catch him in cat form and burst him down maybe there is potential there chun li keeping cubsy in combat with that crackling jade lightning it's all about denying drinks Greki looks like he's trying to sneak away for one right now and channel is trying to chase him down not going to be moving too fast on the Warlock, but does deny the drink regardless. Mana lead for the boys. The small map is paying off. Yeah, and now we see a target swap here onto Wealthy Man. I got to say, before dampening, I prefer it if the Super Frog, uh, the boys, sorry, go after Wealthy Man on the side of the Super Frogs. I think that netting yourself an Ice Block and just applying more pressure to that mage is definitely going to be key in terms of burning out Cubsy's mana and also just uh, controlling the pressure. Now we do see Channel uh, is going to be caught up in that Mortal Call into that Leg Sweep. Cubsy has a lot of work to do. He activates the Innovate, gets Cyclone on it, though, by Goreki. Goreki looking to cycle on the trinket. Cubsy though managing to outrange it, but Goreki's gonna get that low cyclone onto Channel. Gonna pause out his HP for now. And that push nets them that gladiator's medallion. And now we see another swap onto Wealthy Man. You can see the boys are definitely playing for the mana lead. Goreki now in stealth looking for Cubsy. Going for that cyclone again. Is it off the art? It's going to be a full cyclone. This could potentially be an ice box hit. I think it easily could. Ice barrier absorbing a huge amount of damage and managing to hold out for now, but Goreki. Becky's restoration druid is phenomenal. It's leaps and bounds better than his Mistweaver, especially in this matchup. And perhaps him not just locking it in in game number one may be the factor that costs them the whole series. He's been getting great crowd control. He is the initiator. He's also got the mana lead. The map is well selected. And things are actually looking solid for the boys overall. Now the question then becomes, what do they do on the larger maps when the Super Frogs lock in that territory? Do we then see Smexen come in on Elemental Shaman? I would like to see that, especially on some like Tolveron Arena, but on the small map, the boys are owning right now. Greki again with three Cyclones, rotates over to Channel at low health. Cubsy's now got to time his heals after that. Greki gets counterspelled, though. Could be an opening for Wealthy Man to bounce back. Channel leaves the Cyclone. Mortal Coil, huge heal from that. Channel recovers and stays in it. Greki now Cyclone, and Chun-Li could be in trouble. Yeah, and that was actually a Cyclone onto Channel, onto Chun-Li's Touch of Death. A little bit preemptive on that one, but it's uh, looking bad for the Super Frogs overall. Cubsy is running very, very low on mana. We see Channel again tanking another Dark Soul Chaos Ball to the face. Wealthy Mando looking to deflect here with his Icy Veins. Goreki just chasing Cubsy around, Looking for that rake stun. He's gonna go for the cyclone as well at the back of that. He manages to land it. Nice fear into paralyze on wealthy man. And Thugonomics is teeing off big time here on the channel who's caught up in that bash stun as well. The entire team of Super Frogs is just being stunned up by Goreki here as we see him caught up in that fear, but they did net themselves an unending resolve here. Super Frogs really don't have much life left here. 
No, they do not. Dampening is kicked in. There's a massive mana lead for the side of the boys, and everything is set up for them to win here. Greki tries to sneak in a hibernate. Cubsy was locked in the room with that ring of peace into an Ursul's Vortex, into a potential stun. That crowd control chain from the boys right now into Cubsy is so perfect. Cycloned on the trinket, but I think Iron Bark should be enough with the peels coming out from the Super Frogs. But this is like a completely different team we're seeing from the boys in game number two. And I, I almost never want to see Gorecki off of his Druid. Yeah, and now we see Gorecki getting punished, though. He's going to hold on to that Gladiator's Medallion, and that's another thing that he's so good at. He knows when he can hold on to his cooldowns. And less experienced Druid, for sure, would have used his Gladiator's Medallion there and actually left an opening for the Super Frogs. Now he's still going to have that, and he's also going to shut down that drink, but we see Taganomis taking uh -oh. huge amounts of damage. Oh, the Super Frogs with the battle back. Cubsy catches him in a stun. Cyclones him at low health, denying both the defense of the Unending Resolve and the Iron Park. Cubsy now battling back, showing that he is also a top contender for the Restoration Druid class in the North American region. Now stunning Gorecki. Thugonomics holds on by a thread. Channel going for those Chaos Bolts. Gets Mortal Cold away. Thugonomics banishes the Fell Hunter to go for a cast, but Wealthy Man's there to back him up. Thugonomics then abandons that push. Line is siding some damage while he's interrupted. Good positioning, but Channel then follows up with the Infernals. Looking to ramp up here. Where's the Reign of Fire? Needs to be dropping that Reign of Fire soon to continue ramping up these Infernals. You get big damage moving forward. Who's going to be the target? We saw Gorecki get blasted earlier on, but he's at the pillar. Chun Li sees it coming. He knows that Chanimal is ramped up. He's going to touch her karma before a Chaos Bolt is even attempted to be cast just to stay alive and stay in the fight. Now Cubsy, though, caught in crowd control, and the boys look to swing back for victory if they can keep it going. There's no crowd control to follow up. Cubsy gets out. Seven more seconds on his Iron Bark. Should be enough to stabilize. Where is Gorecki? Is he in stealth trying to drink? Man, it evens out. It's anyone's game. Yeah, and this is the win condition we were talking about. Super Frogs can win on mana now that they're not playing against that Mistweaver. There's also an opening onto Chan Li. I'm going to see Chanimal and Wealthy Man go after Chan Li and try to take him out before that next touch of Karma is available. And uh, Tagonomis also has his Dark Soul available. He needs to get a big, juicy Chaos Bolt onto Chanimal before that 35 second mark when that unending resolve is going to be available for Chanimal. And now we see Tagonomis caught up in that mortal called Chanimal, line of sight, realizing that that's the next big threat before that unending resolve is up the touch of death will not be available for Chan Li as we see wealthy man caught up in yet another cyclone Cubsy though completely tapped he's gonna look to be uh, paralyzed here actually potentially into a rake stun Poten actually a bash done by Gorecki can he follow it up with a cyclone here we see Dagonomics going for the chaos ball he lands it onto wealthy man potentially an ice block here Sid all right let's see if they can get it the boys try and stay in it the man elite is basically lost and dark soul activated channel will be a force to be reckoned with chun lee the target he's trying to retreat away actually denying the drink he's caught though he's snared up there's chaos bolts flying one connects chun lee fortified elixirs gets stunned he's got touch of death this is it chun lee has to get a kill in two more seconds on channel through iron bark I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Chanimal gates away, or sorry, Chun Li gates away. Able to line aside those Gliders Maledix as Super Frogs begin to counterattack. Chun Li holds on. Gorecki jumps in. They keep needing to deny Cubsy's drinks. They manage to do it. Chun Li is just not recovering. Dampening is so high. Likely that we see Touch of Karma here shortly. He's holding on to it as long as he can. He would like to exchange it for a cooldown, but there's no cooldowns to exchange it. He barely gets it off right before that Shadow Fury. We now see Cubsy locked down in paralysis. Any crowd control to follow up? A Cyclone. Cubsy trinkets out of that to stay ahead of the damage at this point. Damage is more valuable than healing. You need to stay ahead of it if you want to find victory. Chun Li is the most vulnerable on the map, and suddenly the Super Frogs have taken this game into their own hands. Yeah, and now we see the innervate is really the only line of defense left for the boys. After that, the win condition that we've been talking about is going to start to favor the Super Frogs. They have all of the momentum now. Gorecki is looking for a drink, but they're going to have an easy time shutting that down. Wealthy Man gating forward to shut that down. He gets him out of stealth, and Chanimal uh, uh, going to be uh, very, very safe right now. Might have to activate his unending resolve, actually. He might be doing it too late here. He, he's going to get the emulate off. Chan Lee, no defense available. Economics caught up in that polymorph, and we're gonna see Channel potentially going for a big chaos bolt here. Chan Lee for sure, the target of choice. The Infernals have landed. This could be it for Chan Lee. Kabzi still with his innovate available. He's gonna make sure that his entire team is topped uh, off. Wealthy Man though, no ice block. Wealthy Man with no ice blocks, and Grecky's jumping into the fight. Ring of Peace bounces Wealthy Man into it. Kabzi gets cycloned. Everything is set up for the boys to find victory in game number two. Is Grecky could be the final bite to get himself victory. So much damage and no mana to deal with it. They polymorph up Chun-Li. Greki needs to dispel. He's actually going for maybe a re-stealth. 
Chun Li's just trying to end this. How is Multi Man staying alive? There's basically nothing left at 36% dampening. Chun Li should just go all in for the kill. There's nothing left. Iron Bark in six. He activates it onto Multi Man now. That ice barrier, huge, huge absorb. Chun Li secures crowd control for the team. Thugonomics just wants to get a Chaos Bolt off at any moment. Infernals in two. If he can get those Infernals down with Touch of Death, there's absolutely no way that Wealthy Man will survive. Chun Li rolls over. He's on Polymorph Diminishing Return. Now on Fear Diminishing Return. There's no crowd control for Chun Li. If he can get onto Wealthy Man, he Ring of Peace is Wealthy Man out in the open, but Chun Li then gets stunned. Chaos Bolts are flying in. They've got all the cooldowns. Why aren't they just going for it? Why are they going after Channel? He has unending resolve to trade. The Wealthy Man gets stacked up. Chun Li moves over. Uh, why are they still not going for it? Cold Snap available. Wealthy Man might be able to survive. Chun Li needs, needs to make a decision soon. He's waiting far too long. Thugonomics is taking the game into his own hands. Big Chaos Bolt. Good Fly Ruff on the second one. Touch of Death could close it out. Unending Resolve and Iron Bark needs to be enough, but at 42% dampening, it simply may not be. There's too much damage with Gorecki adding it into the fight. And Boy, I am happy to see Gorecki back on Druid. Gets defensive here. The boys want to try to take this one, but the Super Frogs have a good composition into him. Yeah, they have a great answer in this matchup. Thugonomics is most likely going to be the target for the Super Frogs. It's going to be up to Snuts and Wealthy Man to make sure they're rotating through their stops. Snuts is going to be so disruptive on that Assassination Rogue. Gorecki, I hope he's playing the Feral Affinity in this matchup. It could be a little X factor that their team needs in order to get a little bit more damage and pressure rolling early on. Sap on a Chun Li into a full cyclone. Good control displayed by the Super Frogs. Thugonomics taking a little bit of burst damage. Or Snuts, though, can't reconnect. Finally gets on Thugonomics. He immediately trinkets out. They're looking for massive counter pressure onto Wealthy Man at the early stages of this game. Yeah, they're trying to get that pressure there. At least try to take away one of those ice blocks. There is a lot that they do need to whittle through. And like Zico said, limited tools to do it. So they want to try to be efficient and get it started as quickly as possible. A decent trade from Cubsy, though, when he does use that Iron Bark, though. Now Wealthy Man is going to be in a little bit of a scary situation. The Cubsy can sit that CC, come out and get the healing going. It's Thugonomics who may have to use that wall early. Yeah, could be the unending resolve. We'll just have to see what Gorecki can get done. Manages to catch a huge heal. Now it's Wealthy Man that's in trouble. Chun Li moving forward, caught to a polymorph. Good control from Wealthy Man once again, and that's the strategy. Wealthy Man, he controls up the game, spamming polymorphs on Chun Li. If he can get it on Gorecki, get some Ring of Frost or polymorphs on Gorecki, and that's where Snut single target damage is really going to pay dividends for the team of Super Frogs. Vendetta's rolling. Thugonomics could be in some trouble. And there's the push right there with Snuts using that Vendetta, and you can actually see. Thugonomics decides to use those offensive abilities to try to basically peel for himself, make it a less desirable trade. But no real pressure going to come out of it. Now Cubsy is going to be caught into the bash, a kick on to Wealthy Man, but Thugonomics is going to be caught into the kidney. Yeah, and we do see uh, Greg coming with a little bit of a late trinket on that blind, and the reason why was because Snuts hadn't committed his Vendetta yet. If you look at the Vendetta cooldown, it's going to be lining up perfectly here, whereas we do see Gorecki caught up in a big cyclone here, though, taking a lot of damage. Thugonomics trying to hold on to the unending result, but it might be too late. He's popping it at very, very low HP. Together with that spell reflect, he's going to get out some fierce onto Snuts. That drain life, the only thing keeping him alive. Unbelievable greed from the boys, but Thugonomics hangs on. I don't yeah. even have that button bound. I have no idea how he managed to stay alive there. Yeah, Wealthy Man was forced into his ice block, but Thugonomics, like you said, a little bit of greed, overlapping the Iron Park with the unending resolve and almost falling. That was a surprising amount of damage that the Super Frogs had available. If you look, Wealthy Man, Icy Veins available, that major offensive three-minute cooldown the for kidney. the Super Frogs. Here's the full kidney shot. What is Wealthy Man going to be able to do? Spell lock on the Cubsy. He moves forward, gets the bash on the Gorecki. Can he find the Polymorph? Wealthy Man gets it. Touch of death rolling. Wealthy Man could be in a little bit of trouble right now. There's no Iron Bark to reduce the damage. Gladiator Safeguard will proc. Still a lot of pressure on Thugonomics. Uh, this is not great for the Super Frogs. That was a swap on the Polymorph to, from Gorecki to Chun Li, shutting down their offense completely. Gorecki, though, getting caught up in a cyclone. Cubsy really carrying the offense here. We see the Ice Events activated. Huge amounts of damage for Thugonomics, but we do see Gorecki potentially deflecting that one with the Iron Bark. Should be stabilizing for now. As we see Wealthy Man caught up in a fair, and now we see the pressure turning 
and once again over onto Wealthyman, Sean Lee gonna be using that diffuse magic to get out of one of those Frost Novas, the Fist of Fury, also nice crackling Jade Lightning there onto Cubsy to make sure that he stays in combat. Cubsy was looking to get a restuff there, potentially looking for a drink, and now we see a paralyzed double leg sweep here from Chun Lee, doing everything he can to really slow down the Super Frogs. Goreki have the mana lead. If they can hold on to the game for a bit longer, they should be able to secure this one, Ben. And Chun Lee, though, with just such a good sense of everything, of the tide of the game. It was in that last go, really him who was able to stave it off. He was able to make sure that Goreki had at least enough time to get his Iron Bark back and also to slow down that onslaught of cooldowns coming in from the side of the Super Frogs. But the Super Frogs going to make sure that they know that the boys are not out of the woods yet. We're going to see constant CC going out, out onto Goreki. Finally, Thugonomics going to have his offensive cooldowns now to try to out-aggress if he does does need to. Thug, though, going to be caught up. Can't do any damage right now and doesn't have Chun-Li to peel for him. Uh-oh. Full kidney shot. Frozen orb. It looks like Thugonomics is going to be in a lot of trouble. Gorecki does manage to catch the Iron Bark in a good position to heal him up. There's no crowd control for the Super Frogs. Unfortunately, the boys stabilize. They're looking to push in. Cubsy responds with his own Iron Bark. Now, both Druids and both teams can be a little bit vulnerable without the defensive cooldown. Thugonomics has the Dark Soul rolling, looking to get some damage, but it's nuts on the Assassination Rogue. So disruptive, landing one in up. Does he have a follow-up? Double Mortal Coil going to be thrown out by Thugonomics to free himself up. Lands one Chaos Bolt onto Wealthy Man. Touch of Death rolling. Chun-Li, what is he going to be able to get done? A second one. This could be the second Ice Block of Wealthy Man in the match. Chun-Li uses the Rig Piece to bounce Wealthy Man back in his range, getting more damage rolling. I can't emphasize enough just how well Chun-Li has played so far, and the boys are relatively safe for quite a bit of time here, barring some crazy shenanigans out of the Super Frogs. The Super Frogs uh, need to basically outlive another go. We're going to see those cooldowns coming in right now. Wealthy Man's still does have that one block to rely on. Yeah, we knew, now we see Cubsy caught up in that cycle. I'm going to drink it out of it and they activate the Iron Bark onto Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man should be stable for now. Thugonomics, though, has his unending resolve available and it's going to be that next bash onto Goreki that really should set the Super Frogs up for a drink. I want to see them look for it as soon as possible. Cubsy goes for the restuff. Chan Lee, though, on top of it. And now we see the pressure turning. Wealthy Man looking for the Polymorph on Chan Lee. Cubsy looking for the bash. Nice leg sweep onto Cubsy, trying to do a swap here, but Wealthy Man reads it with a beautiful polymorph. Now we see the spell lock secured onto Goreki. Line of sighting Cubsy getting that restuff off, and he's gonna go ahead and dodge, and there is the bash. This is the moment. We see Wealthy Man goes for the poly, gets into... Oh, he actually lands it. Now I want to see Cubsy actually sneak away with this push and try to find a drink. Not gonna be able to look for it right now. He's gonna stay and go for that cycle instead, trying to take Thugonomics down through the unending result. Will we be able to do it, Ben? I don't know. Oh, now a Cyclone coming in from Cubsy to freeze any healing that Goreki might have had. Goreki with a beautiful bash shuts down some of that crowd control. Now Kitty Shot extends to CC for Super Frogs. Thugonomics still super vulnerable. Ah. Wealthy man, the final nail in the call for the coffin. With that Gladiator's mouth, it's a nice flurry. Planer of the boys are going to be able to tie this one up, two and two. All right, let's see if they can do it. Can the boys manage to pull this back and tie it up two to two? It's a best of seven grand finals. The last time that we will see these two Titans in North America go head to head before the spring finals, where they will then meet Europe and decide who is better, North America or Europe later this year. And then after this series, we still have a tiebreaker. We've still got the Mew Mew Kitty Cats. We've still got Jamili going up against his grudge match, his rivalry with Colo on the team of Never Lucky. Their team had two shots at qualifying. They didn't make either. They've got one more left, but three strikes, you're out. Mew Mew Kitty Cats later on after this series. Right now on Blades Edge Arena, there are not many places to hide, and with Destruction Warlocks on both sides, this could go either way. Yeah, definitely could. Like I said, there is not a lot of room to run and hide on this map. However, there's also not a lot of room for Wealthy Man to kite Chun Li. He's not going to be able to create too much distance. If Wealthy Man is pushing in, trying to get crowd control on Goreki, look at Thugonomics. He's in a great position. There's no line of sight for Wealthy Man. He's just going to eat Chaos Bolt after Chaos Bolt. The same is true for Chun Li. Chanimo might be able to get a lot of pressure out on this map onto Chun Li. And I'm actually very curious to see if either one of these druids is ever going to be able to sneak away for a drink. Paralysis into Bash. Good setup here from the boys. Looking to get really aggressive on oh, Chanimo. Oh, oh. He could be in some trouble. Thugonomics finds the fear on Wealthy Man. Chanimo 
all by himself at this point in the game. Does manage to survive off the back of that unending resolve, but a big cooldown used by Super Frogs. Big cooldowns used by the Super Frogs. Can they stay alive later into this fight? Touch of death and uh, Infernal's available for the side of the boys. They combo those together. Chanimal could get chopped through Iron Bark even at this point in the match, and I am curious to see if they can set it up. Everything is built for this moment. Is Gorecki going to be the X Factor is also a question. Infernals have landed. Thugonomics, he's popping that unending resolve. He's casting Chaos Bolts, and you're not stopping him unless you Nether Ward. Chanimal <laughs> just says, no way, Thugonomics, you're getting over eager. Nether Ward's a Chaos Bolt back into his face, and now Thugonomics has overextended his defensive lineup. I just love how excited you got there, and Chanimal is like, nope, no way. Nether Ward straight back to Thugonomics. Thugonomics activated his Nether Ward, and Chanimal ran out of line of sight. A little bit of an outplay there for Chanimal. Now a fear on the Thugonomics. Gorecki getting swatted away by Wealthy Man as he moves towards midfield. Chaos Bolt lands, Frostbolt as well. Chun-Li rolls off the side of the map, looking to keep Cubsy in combat. You can see Chun-Li, he's placed his Transcendence in the midfield, and it's a good place for it to be. At any point, he can just jump off the side of the bridge and he can escape to safety. If Wealthy Man and Chanimal, they decide to chase, guess what? Chun-Li uses Transcendence, gets back up on the bridge, and Wealthy Man and Chanimal have to march all the way around up on top of the bridge in order to get back in line of sight and start casting some spells. So that's one of the benefits for the boys on this map. Chun-Li is going to be much more of a stable target with the ability to really use that Z-axis. All right, let's see what they can get done here with no unending resolve on either side. That's an opening, but Cubsy's mana. That is not a healthy amount comparatively to Gorecki, and I just love watching Gorecki on this druid. I'm very interested to see how he fares in the European scene, but as far as the European scene, Looney, he's equally good on druid, potentially maybe not as talented with the feral affinity, but his ability to play Mistweaver Monk is going to be really an X factor overall when we do get to the spring finals. Right now, the boys are developing a massive lead, as would be expected with their map selection and comp advantage. Chanwell gets denied on the Innervate heals of Cubsy. Gorecki once again dealing devastation with both control and mana management and healing output, allowing his team to also just blunder away their unending resolve with no punish whatsoever. Yep, um, we'll have to see what exactly happens. Like we kind of talked about, Thugonomics is going to be relatively stable in this matchup until a little bit later on in dampening where some of the self-healing of that Destruction Warlock really is limited. Cubsy now repositioning into the starting area, looking for a reset on his mana. If he can sit down and drink, that's good. Like we said, Super Frogs, they were way behind at this point in the game. It's a bit of a disaster for the boys to just allow him to reset his mana completely. chun Lee's trying to shut it down, manages to do so. Cubsy did sit down for a little bit of a drink, but still a massive lead in this matchup for Gorecki. Now some pressure on Thugonomus. Good control coming in from Wealthy Man. What are Super Frogs going to be able to do? We have seen in the past, Thugonomus is the main kill target target for their team later on in dampening. He just sets a susceptible target to being snared out in midfield and getting bursted down. Ulti man at half health and interrupted. can access ice block and he's in midfield. Tuganomics gets shut down though by Chanimal. Good backup. Good teamwork between Chanimal and Wealthy Man to assist each other when they are in trouble. Cubsy managed to reset his mana just as Dampening entered the fight. A complete reset for their team and giving them another opportunity to potentially move to match point. Even though the boys have effectively crafted what they would like to consider a counter, it's not entirely so. The Super Frogs can definitely pull off victory. So the pressure is on. Here, the momentum is building. Gorecki is trying to sneak away and drink underneath the bridge. Or maybe just re-stealth. Not able to find it. Bash the channel instead for Chun-Li to dish out some extra damage. Really trying hard to get an iron bark with this attempt. They do manage to get it from Cubsy. One defensive cooldown off that grocery list. The next big push will be for that unending resolve. And I'm curious if Chun-Li and Thugonomus are going to split up their Infernals and Touch of Death. If they commit them at the same time, Chanwell can get a two-for-one exchange on his unending resolve. If they split them up, they could then potentially force it and then kill with the other later on. So you're curious to see how the boys manage their offensive cooldowns at this moment in time. Cubsy actually has a mana lead, and suddenly the Super Frogs are developing an advantage. Yeah, Super Frogs are looking good in this matchup so far, but... Boys not doing too bad. Gorecki a little bit behind on mana, but still 
There's a huge capability for an all-in push. Channel caught in midfield. Thugganomics as well. Once again, just teeing off on him. Spamming Frostbolt after Frostbolt. Big flurry. Thugganomics forced to use the unending resolve. Greco was getting really aggressive. And I like the fact that Lofty Man decided, you know what? You're going to get aggressive. I'm going to use my icy veins. I'm going to try to start pulling out some cooldowns. And it worked out well for them. Thugganomics now down. No Nether Ward. No Trinket. No anything, really. Polymorph on a Gorecki. Thugonomic's still in a little bit of trouble. Chunli looking to deny. Beautiful ring of peace knocks Chanimal off the side of the bridge. Look at this little waddling warlock trying desperately to get in range of Thugonomic's. Finally, Chanimal back into the fight. Can get some damage rolling, but heads up play by Chunli. Keeps his team in the fight. That little waddling warlock might be little now, but with Dark Soul in another minute, these Chaos Bolts will be gigantic. Who will connect it here as dampening continues to mount higher and higher, reducing the incoming healing and inevitably will close the fight out. A swap to Ultiman. Thugonomics lines up a huge hit. Ultiman has to ice block. Fortunately, no overlap on the side of Cubsy, but in the meantime, Gorecki gets a Cyclone. And now potentially Wealthy Man in trouble as that ice block's defense will fade. Thugonomic sets up another Chaos Bolt. That's flying forward. Cubsy needs to deny that with some heals, but Chun-Li's on top of him. Interrupts his heal. Chanimal gets hit as well. Good crowd control from Chun-Li. Fist of Fury flying. Desperately trying to force an unending resolve. Ring of Peace knocks Chanimal, but not too far off the side. Cubsy in position to heal him, but did push forward, potentially exposing himself to fear from Thugonomics. Not close enough. Cubsy repositions back. Now the mana, hugely in favor of the Super Frogs. At one point in time, Gorecki was full, and Cubsy was almost out of mana, but Cubsy's got good presence of mind, although they've had to trade Ice Blocks to find it, and maybe have to trade the final one. Ultiman's down at half health. Can they get enough damage out? The fears are fading on Thugonomics shortly. He's likely lined up for Chaos Bolt. If he can find it, Gorecki, a little bit peculiar bark skin on his part. I guess he was pushing forward aggressively and just wanted to have that up in case they swapped to him. And But it does open an opportunity maybe to switch to him again. Cubsy now with that Feral Affinity trying to set up some stuns on Chun-Li. Not going to be getting anything really off the back of it. Chun-Li's held on to Touch of Death. See what he can get. Look at this poor Windwalker monk just getting polymorph into polymorph into polymorph into stun into fear into fear into root. And that's the problem. When you see Thugonomics run away, when you see Gorecki run away, Chun Li gets left behind. He gets crowd control too easily. Big burst setup here. Thugonomics on the top side of the bridge, moving forward, gets a double mortal coil, looking for a fear on the Cubs. He finds it. Chanimal vulnerable. What is he going to do? He uses the Nether War to reflect the Chaos Bolt. Gets interrupted by Chun-Li. Wealthy Man backs him up with a good polymorph onto Chun-Li. Chanimal stabilizing. Now Thugonomics could be the one that's in trouble. Frozen Orb gets dropped down. One Gladiator's Maledic lands. A second from Cubsy. Gorecki's going to have to play catch up. I don't know what his mana's looking like right now, and it's not looking too good. 25% dampening. Thugonomics is just such an exposed target. All right, Thugonomics, seven seconds away. Gorecki's almost out of mana. This is your map pick. This is your comp advantage if they lose here. Yeah, I really think there's almost no hope for them to win the series. Super Frogs will continue to advance their lead in points in the North American region. Almost securing a spot at the World Finals off points alone, moving into the summer season. Chun-Li just can't connect, crowd control the way. Grecky, what's he trying to do? He got a drink, I do believe. He's now got a decent amount of mana moving forward at 30% dampening imminent. Grecky resells, stuns up Thugonomics. Big damage. Now Chanimal gets stunned up. Damage on both sides. Infernals have landed for Thugonomics as he pulls the trigger first. Chanimal respects that damage on ending resolve, but then gets Cycloned on it. Thugonomics is still low. Chanimal now has his call Infernal in one second. See if he decides to call those in right away. He does. Both Destruction Warlocks going toe to toe to decide whose Chaos Bolt is bigger. Yep, they don't call them Destruction Warlocks for nothing. Chanimal landing a full fear <laughs> on the Gorecki as they are <laughs> pushing forward. 31% dampening. Wealthy Man trying to create some pressure for his team. Did use his icy veins, but Thugonomics did manage to hold on to his unending resolve. <laughs> He's got the biggest chaos bolt. Is it Thugonomics or is it Chanimal? Gorecki. <laughs> Wealthy Man in trouble. It may not even be a case between Thugonomics and Chanimals as Wealthy Man is likely to be the target here as Chun-Li is fo focusing him down. Huge fist of fury pressure. Chanimal sets up, goes to the Chaos Bolt, Chun-Li touch of Karma, so Chanimal stops his cast. It does not want to add to the redirected pressure, but still, Wealthy Man in trouble. Blinks back up the ramp. Glyre's Maledicts and Gorecki move in. That added extra Feral Affinity damage may be enough. 
Greki's tearing in. Multi man gates to safety in midfield with Channel and Cubsy. Managed to hold on to that precious ice block a little bit longer. Yep, Chun Li now caught into a stun with no trigger available. Could be a little bit of an exposed target. Wealthy Man still trying to generate some pressure for his team. The boys falling apart a little bit in this specific moment in time. Good pressure, but Wealthy Man with only one ice block left. Getting bursted down. Thugonomics, does he have any damage? Chun Li trying to just solo him in this instant. But Wealthy Man blinks away back to the safety of his restoration drew. Now Cubsy should be able to find a cyclone onto Chun Li. Chanimal potentially looking for some damage. Finds a big chaos bolt onto Chun Li. Fortifying Brew gonna be traded out. Chun Li ultimately will survive, but he is running out of cooldowns and running out of time. Yeah, it's not looking too good here for Chun Li on his map pick and the comp advantage. If they lose here, Super Frogs advance to match points and likely take the rest of the series. The boys need to get some work done. It's all up to Gorecki. Can he carry the team with this feral affinity? Can he add some extra damage, some extra crowd control, and some extra meow to find perfect victory? <laughs> Gorecki gets stunned up. No crowd control to follow that up, unfortunately. Now Trinketing out. Touch of death from Chun Li. This push has to net a kill. Channel Nether Ward, Sluganomics, Chaos Bolt. Mortal Coils Chun Li away. Escapes to safety at the top of the ramp. Just in time for Cubsy to leave crowd control. MVP Channel. Yeah, Chun Li, though, with Touch of Karma, he can get aggressive. Gets caught into the rake stun. He's going to be looking to close this game out and take down Channel. What is Channel going to do? Wealthy Man trying to get some control of the situation, trying to get some counter pressure onto Chun Li. Chun Li now super vulnerable of a target, looking for a Fist of Fury. Thugonomics looking to back him up with a big Chaos Bolt landing onto Chanimal. Iron Park looking to reduce some of that incoming damage, but a beautiful ring of peace once again, forcing Chanimal on the bottom side of the bridge. Chun Li, though, still not topped off, and Gorecki's caught into a full fear. All right, let's see what Chun Li can do. Evasive maneuvers manages to escape to safety off the side. Mana now almost tapped for Cubsy. Suddenly the mana in favor of the boys. Perhaps they can take game number four and tie it all up. Bring us to game five in the best of seven grand final. Whoa, 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 whoa. Suddenly gets blasted in midfield by Wealthy Man and Channel. A tag team effort and a KO for the Super Frogs. They move to match point. The entirety of this series. Very curious to see if they can just 4-1 the boys, asserting dominance in the North American region and claiming first place finish going into the spring finals. Of course, after this game, assuming that the Frogs win here, we will see the team of Never Lucky go against the Mew Mew Kitty Cats. This is Colo against Jamili to qualify to the spring finals to be the fourth and final spot to go to the spring finals. So even after this series, you do not want to go anywhere because we still have business to settle other than trying to sling pies. What? I don't know, that was a bakery joke. Oh, okay. I was like, we're not slinging pies right now. We're casting World of Warcraft Arena. <laughs> Nico slinging pies over there. <laughs> what? No. Whoa! Thugonomics getting bursted down. Big Chaos Bowl landing from Channel. We saw what Channel was able to get done against Colo yesterday with some huge Chaos Bolts of his own. So no one can be sleeping on Channel in this particular match. At any moment, he could end the game. Definitely scary for the boys in this particular matchup. But once again, matchup kind of comes down to mana on both teams. Either deep dampening where the Warlocks become really susceptible or one of the Restoration Druids eventually runs out of mana. So sneaking away for drinks can be ultra important for Gorecki and Cubsy. Touch of death to nice Chun-Li's big push. Now, th oh, maybe not. Multi-Man gets hit hard. Thugonomics has to exchange his unending resolve, even still with that. Dipping low, double Mortal Coil though. Now denies it, he's cycloned. He can't be healed by Gorecki. Cooldown's blown on both fronts, but I do think Elite is establishing itself for the Super Frogs here as Cubsy can sneak away and drink, as Zico was saying in the pregame with his composition. There's much more pressure in their team's favor, so Cubsy can more easily sneak away from the fight, and if the enemy team chases him, he, they get blasted by Chaos Bolts and Frost Bolts, so it's not too easy to stop Cubsy from drinking. Dagonomics at half health, but Gorecki denies the kill with Iron Bark. Cubsy gets cycloned, I do believe, by Gorecki. Interesting that Nether Ward was actually dropped by Dagonomics. I'm bit curious as to what honor talent Thugonomics is running instead of that. I would have expected that it was pretty standard. Maybe it was being nether or spell stolen too frequently by a wealthy man. So he doesn't want to give it to him in a kleptomania spell steal, but it's not typical we see the nether war dropped on the destruction warlock in a wizard war. Yeah, that is really interesting. I wonder what honor talent he decided to pick up. As you would think, the defense from that ability would just be really good. You can use it to reflect the Gladiator's Maledix. You could use it to reflect Chaos Bolts. Just overall, super solid. But unfortunately, Thugonomics is not going to be running that. Now full bash onto Gorecki. What is Cubsy going to be able to get done? Finds the full Cyclone, but there's just not too much pressure on the Chun-Li and Thugonomics in this particular moment in time. 
Right now, Super Frogs, they're up in the series three to one. This is a best of seven. So if Super Frogs can win this game, they will win this series and win the tournament, which is going to be huge for them. Right now, they are the number one point earning team in North America with a commanding lead over basically everyone else. The boys in a solid second place, but for the boys, if they could somehow come back, win the next three games in a row, it would be huge for their point standings overall. What's interesting with the Super Frogs is that they were struggling a bit with Mew Mew Kitty Cats earlier in the day, uh, early in the tournament, sorry, with that Rogue Mage. And they actually face ABC, which is a Rogue Mage main in the first round of the Spring Finals. So I'm curious if Super Frogs are gonna polish up their Demon Hunter Death Knight to try and deal with that. And if that ends up being the case, it could be a Demon Hunter Death Knight mirror between ABC and the Super Frogs. All of the teams need to prepare as many compositions as possible moving forward to that spring finals. Whoever is the most limited, I would guess, is likely the most uh, likely to lose. We do see Grecky and Cubsy both actually sneaking away, and neither neither team is going to stop it. It's a clean reset on both sides. A bit surprising to see that advantage dropped by both, both sides. Yep. Both Druids going straight to full mana, but like we kind of said, Dampening meter doesn't really reset. We're almost at that point where dampening is going to start kicking in, reducing the incoming healing. Nice ring of peace there by Chun Li, knocking Chanimal off. Chun Li has been on point in this series so far with his ring of peace. Really control up Chanimal, knocking him out of line of sight, really avoiding some of the damage and control that he has. Chun Li now turning his attention over on Chanimal, trying to get some damage rolling. Is he going to be able to get anything done? Chan Chanimal finding a nice little chaos bolt on Chun Li. Chun Li could be in trouble, actually trading out his touch of karma. I'm a bit curious as to why. Uh, I guess he's not too afraid of dying in this matchup just yet, but that was kind of a waste of that defensive cooldown. All right, major defensive cooldown blown out of the way for Chun-Li. Getting blasted by Chanimal. Jumping off the side, ducking for cover. Flying Serpent kick back to Grecky, should be okay. Dugonomics at the pillar as well. Good defensive posture for the boys here. They're on match point, they can't afford to throw it away. They will just be knocked out of the tournament in second place if they lose this game here. They need to win three in a row. The comeback train, but I'm not sure if they've been punched a ticket yet for that train. Dampening has entered. Man, a lead for the Super Frogs, and that is not spelling too good for the boys as Grecky tries to sneak away, maybe? He's playing on the outskirts of that box. I'm curious if anyone on the side of Super Frogs looks to deny. Instead, Grecky jumps in, but was denied on his stealth, so he did not get the bonus stun on his rake from being in Prowl. Chanimal now stunned by Chun-Li. Grecky gets jumped on. They're swapping to Grecky, trying to punish that Feral Affinity. Huge damage follows that up. Tons of pressure. Grecky's just going to go down. He gets blasted. He shadow melts. What? He stayed alive as a result of that shadow melt. Very close call. Finally, we see Gorecki punished a bit for his Feral Affinity play. He's very cheap. He's casting Entangled Roots at 30% in their face. Gorecki is total disrespect. Yeah, they want to get the first Ice Block from Wealthy Man. What greedy plays from Gorecki, but ultimately he will end up surviving in this match. Shadow Mel, then the Gladiator Safeguard Trinket going to be enough to keep him alive. Which is really, really nice for the boys. They are on match point right now. That would have been disastrous. I want to see more attempts like that from the Super Frogs. Really try to punish Gorecki from making these really aggressive pushes in this matchup. Wealthy Man looking for a polymorph. Gets denied by Thugonomics. The positioning. Chanimal, he's overextended right now. Thugonomics just serving him up some Chaos Bolts. Chanimal forced to use that any resolve. Looking for a Shadow Fury. Manages to shut down some damage. But now Mortal Coil from Thugonomics. He's continuing the assault but gets interrupted and shut down. Once again, Thugonomics is going to be positioning behind the pillar. What tastes better, a greater Pyroblast pie or a Chaos Bolt pie? I, I mean, it really depends. What do you season the uh, Chaos Bolt with? If you're seasoning it with demons and Dark Souls, then that's definitely a delicious Chaos Bolt. Yeah, I mean, the greater Pyro pie is just burnt, isn't it? Like, okay, okay. It's probably just burnt. All right, I hear that I'm needed. The, the way that it works, uh, a Chaos Bolt is, oh my god, my voice, they, they don't want you to know. The way that it works, a Chaos Bolt is like a, it's like a European pie. Uh, you ever have the, like the shepherd's pie and the, the, the big meaty, beefy, saucy, Demon. spicy, that's the, the, like a pie. Like, it, it's like, it's like how Healing Stat would talk about a pie. It's like, oh, let's get a quick pie. And it's like probably got mushy peas in it and stuff like that. That's like what Adrian Drizzled would Drizzled ketchup. Pie. Then... When, when you look at a G-Pie, now that's that's Thanksgiving Day pie right there. I'm not talking about that pecan stuff. I'm talking about pumpkin pie. All right. 
Well, that was an interesting description. Just descriptive uh, imagery there. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Dampening is rampening, 17% right now. Thugonomics gonna receive some pressure. All right, Grecky denies the kill with Iron Bark. Cubsy, what, how much mana did you end up getting full? That's bad. Wealthy Man, though, gets interrupted. Chun-Li leads the charge. They need to get a kill with this. They're so far behind on mana. Wealthy Man not gonna give them that. Ice Block denies the kill. Fair trade for a full mana bar. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a fair trade. Wealthy Man still looking healthy with one ice block available. 20% dampening at this point in the game. What are the boys going to do? Gorecki's almost out of mana. Cubsy pushing in, looking for crowd control. Thugonomics denies it, but Chun-Li caught all alone behind Chanimal. Wealthy Man really looking to punish. This is the touch of death, but there's just too much control on Chun-Li. Finally, a double leg sweep lands. Good pressure now on Wealthy Man. He gets Vortex back on his blink. This could be the second ice block. Oh! The back of a beautiful interrupt from Thugonomics. That was a great offensive push, but now Chun-Li could be in some trouble. He's going to get out of line of sight. Pun Cannibal, oh. can he find the damage? There's a rake stun. Chun Li portals out of line of sight. Beautiful transcendence. Gorecki doing everything in his power to stay in the game. Comes with a nice rake stun of his own on a Gorecki. Look for a cyclone. Chun Li shuts it down. Now Thugonomics, he's been left behind. Great oh. offensive push by the Super Frogs, but Wealthy Man is really vulnerable. Beautiful play on Cubsy's part, but no kill will be netted. Now Thugonomics in trouble. They're on match point. If he goes down, they're out of this, and we will see a grudge match between Never Lucky and the Mew Mew Kitty Cats. Thugonomics goes for the unending resolve, his last line of defense. He barely holds on. Wealthy Man trying to snipe him and just close the series out. Mortal Coil denies the kill for now. Chun Li crowd controls Wealthy Man. Cubsy now in a bash. Chanimal low on health. Thugonomics goes for the Chaos Bolt. Tries to fake cast the Nether Ward, but it's not actually available. Thugonomics wraps around the corner. Grecky sends up Chanimal. Thugonomics switches targets. Wealthy Man with no ice blocks. One Chaos Bolt. Thugonomics gets denied on the second. Chun Li now needs to be careful. He's got no defense. He portals, but he portals to the opposite boxes. His team, Thugonomics and Grecky, they're up across the map. And they've got a Warlock and a Mage in between them. Chun Li charges in. Cubsy catches him. Grecky needs to hold on for dear life at this point. Iron Bark needs to be enough. Chun-Li holds on with that. He's trying to push forward with that added defense, but even still with it, he's just crumbling. Yeah, but now Chun-Li has diffused magic and touch of karma and rolling back up, and Super Frogs can't believe it. Chanimal traded out his unending resolve to get aggressive there. They don't take down Chun-Li. Now he's just so vulnerable. You can see Wealthy Man, he's really low as well with no ice block available for another three minutes. Cubsy looking to deny that opportunity with his Iron Bark. Wealthy Man now going to be sitting pretty. 33% dampening. Both these druids are going to start struggling. Gorecki sitting down, potentially for a drink. Is he going straight to full mana? Has he left Thugonomics behind for too long? These are the questions that need answering. Chanimal getting lower. Tries to get out of line of sight. Thugonomics caught in midfield. He gates away. Out of line of sight. Gorecki looking to top him off, but both these druids are going to start struggling. The boys continue to battle to get a next episode and stay in the tournament, but Chun-Li gets caught in a bash. One Chaos Bolt for Chanimal. Gladiators Maladix likely to close it out. Diffuse magic on negative 1%. How are you alive, Chun-Li? Rolling into the wall to try and get back to uh -huh. 1%! Tournament live on the line. Catches a Vivify. Now they left Thugonomics behind. He's getting owned by Cubsy. Cubsy's just gonna kill. Look at, nope, now he gets feared away. Grecky reconvenes, has to heal two members of the team. So low on health, a critical mass and dampening. Mana still in favor of the Super Frogs. Momentum in favor of the Super Frogs. This tournament looking like to be the Super Frogs as Cubsy sets up for the kill. Stun into clone. No trinket. Chun Li holding on to dear life. Thugonomics retreating back around the corner, but they're separated. Grecky jumps to Chanimal to get back to Chun Li. Thugonomics launches a chaos bolt at Cubsy in desperation to make something happen for his team, but that's not going to do anything. Now Thugonomics is left behind, and Grecky and Chun Li have to cross the battlefield once again, but I don't think they're going to make it. Grecky jumps over, but Wealthy Man's all over him. Wealthy Man gets Mortal Cold away. Chun Li's now in midfield. He's trying to get back to the pillar. Wealthy Man blinks in with no ice blocks. Potentially an overextension. Potentially a punish for the boys. Infernals have landed from Chanimal. That's now a big threat. They can't push forward. They can't punish. If they go out in the open, Chanimal will tear them to pieces. Yeah, but look, Wealthy Man has an ice block rotating back up in 30 seconds. Cold snap in another 60. That's going to be two ice blocks for Wealthy Man. The boys, they have to try to make an offensive push at this point in the game because Super Frogs, they just have so much rotating back up. The Gonomics is such a vulnerable target, still hiding behind the pillar. Big damage on Wealthy Man. Look at Gorecki. Chun Li looking to close out the game. Gorecki in well, now Chanimal lands a huge chaos bolt. Grecky gets out of line of sight, keeping himself alive. 45% dampening. Touch of death rolling on to Wealthy Man. Five seconds. Six seconds left on his ice block. Is he going to be able to hold on? Looks like he will. Cubsy oh. ultimately. Oh.
heal him up. Chun Li looking to find some damage. Thugonomic still rotting down low. Rureki almost completely out of mana. He's got a nice block. They got all the momentum. Just need a bit more damage. Wealthy Man pins down Chun Li into Polymorph. Thugonomics goes for Chaos Bolts. One's flying through the air straight at Wealthy Man with the stun. Added extra damage. Ursus Vortex as well. This has to be a nice block. Wealthy Man ducks for cover. He gets he jukes Chun Li with the Ursus Vortex, pulling him back upstairs. Chun Li reconnects. He's gonna pop that Earth Wind and Fire. Gets Frost Nova on it. Great reaction from Wealthy Man, stalling out some of the cooldown damage. Chun Li's trying to push him over. Infernals for Thugonomics. Can he get a Chaos Bolt? Wealthy Man has two ice blocks now. Cubs is sitting down for a drink? Nope, didn't get any mana. Kareki, where are you on the map right now in cat form? Are you sneaking away and drinking to full mana? Because if you are, that might carry the team. Cubsy is. Greki didn't. No cooldowns left. Cubs are going back to full mana. Chun Li stuck in midfield. Likely having a bit of a difficulty. He looks like oh. he's back. Flying around the map, but at least he's back. Cubsy has half mana though. There's still one more ice block in the tank. The boys are on match points. 52% dampening and mounting. Yeah, Chun Li, unfortunately, in that exchange, had to trade out his diffused magic and his touch of karma. Now just so vulnerable. Gorecki with almost no mana does sit down a little bit. Cubsy also, in the meantime, sat down and got some mana back. 54% dampening. What are they going to do? Icy Bane's being used. Chun Li so vulnerable. Transcendence behind the pillar. Channel in a good position to fear him away. A beautiful ring of peace. Thugonomics low as well. Chun Li has to make an offensive push. He needs to try to get a nice block. Wealthy Man already traded one out. Thugonomics gets interrupted. This is looking really good for the Super Frogs as all three members of the boys retreat behind the pillar once again anyone can die at any moment on the boys here the super frogs have total control of the fight and likely to take this but afterwards we'll have the Mew Mew kitty cats against never lucky to decide the fourth team in north america to go to the spring final so you do not want to go anywhere this is not the last series of the day we still have a tie to break huge gas bolt economics ducks for a corner tries to stay alive now comes back up without any result but gets stunned on it cubsy has been doing a great job with feral affinity towards the end of this match Definitely stepping up his game, carrying the team. Thugonomics is barely holding on. Greki has no mana left. Absolutely no mana left. Thugonomics gets connected by a Frost Bolt. One flurry proc from Wealthy Man could close this game out. Wealthy Man gets counter pressured. Chaos Bolt is in the sky. He blocks it, denies the kill. Infernals from Chanimal. Chanimal is the scariest warlock in this arena right now. Dark Soul and Infernals. If they can connect this Chaos Bolt on Thugonomics, he will not survive. Going to Cold, he gates, but he gates into midfield. It looks like Cubsy is going to be the one that tears in for the kill. Cubsy stepping up for his team here in this final match, and they take the tournament as a result. Super Frog's gonna be the to defeat versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.